I'm gonna teach you how to maximize your real estate holdings and end up with five homes and five properties before you retire. I'm Volcher Lepe, CEO of Lepe Temo Properties, top 1% agent in San Diego County, and let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to end up with five properties by the time you retire. And the reason why we're even going over this because when I first started into real estate, I met a lot of my clients that were just kind of chilling, and I would notice that they owned four, five, six, seven, up to 10 properties. And their only job really was collect rent on the first of every month. And I always wondered how that happened. At first, it didn't really it, it hit me. I just thought maybe, you know, they had money and they're rich, but that's not how it worked. So I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. And that way you too could end up with multiple houses by the time you retire. Okay, so let's get right into it. So it all comes down to, maximizing your uh, financial capability, okay? What type of loans can you get? How can you get them? And what order should you be buying your homes, okay? So that's where we're gonna be going, is the order that you should be buying homes when you first start. If you already started, not a big deal. Um, you just go on to the next step. So in a perfect world, as a starter, you could start with a condo, right? A one bedroom condo, two bedroom condo. Now, the way that financing works is you can qualify as a first time buyer for this condo, live there for a couple of years. And if your next purchase, let's say, is a duplex, okay, or a fourplex, then in the lender's eyes, okay, this is from a lender's perspective, that's an upgrade, which is cool because now they'll let you use first time buyer from moving from a condo to a duplex or a fourplex because again, it's an upgrade. And then you live there for a couple of years, then you move to your next home, let's say a 1200 square foot home. Again, that's an upgrade. So the lenders will allow you to use um, first time financing. You just go up the ladder. So this is the scenario here. You buy a one or two bedroom, condo in City Heights or Golden Hill, for example, you buy it for 280,000, your monthly payment is 1,900 bucks. Your down payment is only 8,300 bucks, okay? You live in it for seven years, um, pay down uh, the loan to 219,000 and you rent it out for 1,900 bucks. So you're basically covering your mortgage payment, including HOAs. Uh, so now, um, this is, this is the, 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 the first scenario here. Um, if you see here, I'm being very conservative. I'm saying seven years, you know, you're going to pay down to 219,000 by then. Now, when you go buy a duplex, let's say in Lemon Grove, City Heights and National City. And the reason why I'm even mentioning these areas is because these are the areas where, uh, these type of properties exist as of today for this price. Okay. So you buy a $600,000 duplex, your payment's 3,600 bucks. Um, you put down $30,000 down. So that's, what is that? 5% down. Um, you live in one of the units, you rent out the second unit for 1,800 bucks. So your total responsibility really, because your payment's 3,600, is 1,821 a month. Almost the same as the condo. You live in it for seven years, you pay it down to 484,000. And then you rent it out for $2,000 at each unit. That's $4,000 gross. That means you're making about 300 bucks a month. Awesome, right? Okay. The next uh, uh, purchase is a single family house, 1,200 square feet, nice area. So you, so you move to a better area, $600,000. Your monthly payment's 3,800 bucks. Why? Because your down payment's only 30,000. So 3,800 bucks um, monthly payment, right? The duplex, if you remember, it was 3,600 bucks. So now you're 3,800 bucks. You live in it for seven years, you pay, pay down to $484,000. And then afterwards, you rent it out, okay? So you can rent it out for about um, three grand. Now, after a year, so right now we're at year 21, okay? You would have over $200,000 in equity at this point. Your condo, um, on your condo, and then you'll have $275,000 in equity on your duplex and about $150,000 on your house. So all of a sudden you own three properties 
you have over 625,000 in equity at the end of 21 years. And then you do it all over again with a 2,000 square foot home and a 3,000 square foot home. And then that's five properties right there. Now, the cool part is, you know, um, over time, those properties pay themselves off. Um, you don't have to worry about any of the debt. You have all these equities. So you go from $600,000 equity uh, after 21 years to, you know, paying it off you know, um, and, and double that time, all the properties. Now you start just picking up properties and that's basically seen over and over. Now you're looking at it and you're like, well, number one, it might take too long or number two, you might be thinking to yourself that, um, you know, we're going to come up with $30,000, but that's, you know, once you're in there, you sacrifice, you save, you end up with properties, um, by the time you retire. That's pretty cool stuff. And as you can see, it takes time to build your portfolio. If you have any questions on how to start or how to take the next step, if you're already in step one or step two, reach out to me. It's completely free, obligates you to nothing, and we can talk about your personal situation.